hello students let us now look at a problem here we are having the question determine the driving point impedance and admittance of the network so basically what we have to do here is we have to find out the driving point impedance which is basically given by z since it's a one port network you can have one port or two port network here you can see there is only one port why because it is one one dash only one port is there so the voltage we will write it as v of v and here we will write it as i okay now we know that z of s is basically given as v of s divided by i of s and y of s is given by the admittance is given by i of s by v of s which is basically 1 by z of s so if i find out z of s i can find out y of s now as you can see it's all in laplace so first we have to transform the circuit we have to transform the circuit by taking l as ls and c as 1 by Cs. So based on that if I am going to draw this transform circuit I will get it as this where L is written as Ls so I will write here the value of inductor as 2s this inductor is also 2 Henry so I will write this one also as 2s and then the capacitance I will write it as 1 by Cs where C is basically 2 farad so it is 1 by 2s and this one also is 1 by 2s. So once we have written this uh, transform circuit next we have to find out what is the voltage by current so i will write the voltage as v of s and the current going inside as i of s this can be imagined as a single network which has an impedance with a voltage given as v of s and current as i of s what will be this this will be basically 2s plus the parallel combination of 1 by 2s with 2s plus 1 by 2s correct what we have done we have seen that we have seen that these two this one and this one are in series so that we have written as 2s plus 1 by 2s because they are in series and that total combination is in parallel with this one so that we have written it as parallel and that is that total parallel combination is in series with 2s and that's why we have written it as plus 2s okay there is no need to do any mesh analysis any nodal analysis for this particular case so that's all we have to do so therefore i will straight away write that z of s is going to be equal to v of s by i of s voltage by current sorry z of s is equal to v of s by i of s where it is going to be 2s plus the parallel combination of 1 by 2s with 2s plus 1 by 2s which becomes 2s plus now I will write the parallel combination so parallel combination is going to be 1 by 2s parallel of now this one I have to solve so this is going to be 4s square plus 1 divided by 2s what i have done i have cross multiplied 2s this side numerator and denominator so i will get 2s into 2s divided by 1 into 2s 
plus 1 by 2s. So that I have written it as 2s is there common for both. So I have written 2s and this becomes 4s square plus 1. So everywhere you will have to do this kind of cross multiplication to basically solve the fractions. So once we have done that, once we have done that, now we will write the equation for parallel which we all know is 1 by 2s inverse is 2s plus the inverse of this is which is going to be 2s divided by 4s square plus 4s square plus 1 the whole inverse which comes out to be 2s and then we are having again cross multiplication so 2s into 4s square plus 1 plus 2s divided by 4s square plus 1 inverse which gives me so this was 2s plus sorry so 2s plus what is going to come here 2 4s are 8 s cube plus 2s plus 2s So, the denominator we have uh, 4 s square plus 1 that is inverse. So, when I take the inverse it will become plus the 4 s square will go on top 4 s square plus 1 and this one will come in denominator which is 8 s cube plus 4 s. 8s cube plus 4s. Now this one again z of s I can find out by cross multiplication which is 2s 8s cube plus 4s plus 4s square plus 1 divided by 8s cube plus 4s which we can get it as 16 s raised to power 4 plus 8 s square plus 4 s square plus 1 divided by 8 s cube plus 4 s from which I will get z of s as 16 s raised to power 4 plus 12 s square plus 1 divided by 8 s cube plus 4 s. So this is the impedance and I will get the admittance y of s as 1 by z of s is equal to 8 s cube plus 4 s divided by 16 s raised to power 4 plus 12 s square plus 1. So that is the problem that we are doing. For today based on this you have to do the worksheet for a similar kind of problem thank you